is 5.30. All of me's works uh, needing to order. Uh, so with roll call, uh, the person item in. Hold up here. <laughs> Rust. Present. Hell's person Amy. Here. Okay. We'll start with the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I guess since we have a guest, we will do a quick introduction. Uh, I'm Dean Decker, uh, chair of the committee, all the person from District 6. Uh, Joe Hedem in District 10, Southside. Uh, Zach Ross, District 8, Vice Chair. I'm Angela Ray 5. Uh, Josh Sazolin. <laughs> Civilian. <laughs> 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 I'm the Public Works. Joe Curlin, Public Works. Ryan Sazel, Public Works. Heather Burke, Public Works. David Beeble, Public Works. Okay, we'll move on to approval of minutes from November 28th. I move to approve the minutes. Second. Mid second. Any discussion on those minutes? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Sure, votes aye. Okay, number six, Harrow 772324, submitted a letter from Josh. Six is on in, asking permission to actually punt on parcel number five. Uh, yes, we received a, a letter from Josh, who is here this evening, seeking permission to to hunt this area of land, which is primarily wooded, a large area, actually outside the city, but it's city owned. Um, it was gifted for uh, May, and it's since then been um, being managed by the Glacial Lakes Conservancy. Uh, same group that is managing our Shukert uh, property, um, the farm, natural area up here. Uh, so based on our past practices and consistency with the alignment in our ordinance is that um, we've made no exceptions for hunting on city-owned property. Hunting is allowed in the city on private lands, especially on if it was an, a, a lot of this size. Um, given the setback requirements for for hunting, um, is such as we did at our prior meeting of the private property on the south side of Sheboygan, in the garden, uh, not the government farm, the the Romer, the former Romer uh, farm, for instance. So, it, so it would be our recommendation to deny the request and file a file letter. Uh, you know, the gentleman's here this evening, Josh. Um, Yes, you know, if you so desire to listen to his side, um, you know, I think that would be appropriate. Sure. But I just wanted to give you the background, at least, of how we've handled this as request in the past. Um, what, uh, what, what is um, Glacial Lakes? Is, what, what, what is their comments? Uh, I, we have been, I, if, I, I'm assuming, well, okay. Can make yep. Just one little correction. Sure. It's, it's, there's, they have a little governance over it. It's not managed by them, though. Oh, okay. It is still city property. Um, it, it, Maywood, mm -hmm. basically Maywood's more responsible for managing the property than anybody. Okay. Um, and then it, it, it's a weird, it's a weird, um, their Glacier Lakes part of it. They haven't done really anything other than go in there and, and look at it every few years and say, well, you know, these, this really needs to be done. This needs to be done. So they're part of it. Um, but it's more Maywood and it's more city. Okay. Thank you, Chair. We just had a discussion at the board meeting on that, where they where they were in and they cleaned up some paths or something. They yeah, Maywood went with a uh, with a scout. GW scout was a big. We we provided way. them the the machinery. They did, yeah. yeah. And okay. then they had volunteers and they they did the cleanup for the with the scout group. Yeah. Well, I'd be willing to listen to what time. Uh, Someone has to say yes. Um, well, so I live half time in the subdivision right across the street. That's how I found this parcel. And then I used my hunting maps to find it. And uh, I just thought it was strange that it's a city owned property outside. In, it would be in the township. So I figured, I don't know, it's 
I've noticed a lot of deer there. I mean, I'm there almost every single day I drive past that. So I figured I'd ask for permission to try and hunt it. Any other comments? I guess, you know, um, I, I get your, you know, your, your desire to want to hunt there, you know, but I, I just think that if we open this up, we would have a lot of problems. I think we would have a lot of people would, things like that, people on the neighborhood board, things like that, that would not be happy with this. You know, I know, you know, I, it's, you know, it, there is probably sometimes an overpopulation of deer in that area, but just the hunting of the city property, I think, would not go over well <laughs> with the constituency. In fact, here, when, um, you talk about there were some deer stands on there, and they went in to clean, they took the deer stands down. Yep. And I don't know if they, these people keep going back in there because, like you said, there's really not a lot of people over there um, that, that use that park. So, Again, we don't allow people to hunt on other pieces of city property. Why would we make the exception now? It's against the ordinance. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, we, we, we've had this come before us before in the past, and the precedence has been that we haven't um, done it. And I think if we did it now, I think we would be then, you know, opening up other ones we've had in the past and there'd be other sections of the city that people would be wanting to do it. And I just, uh, I don't think that's what the for the most part, ones. So if you look at promotion, I guess the file this would be the best way to do this. Yes. Okay. Move, move the file. Second. Which is made and seconded the file. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. That is Okay. Uh, I guess, sure. So, is that a public property? Is that different than me? Would I walk in there at any time then? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Without a bow. With a bow, I have to use it. Yeah. It's yeah. not yeah. as long as it's going to be an educational area, but it, yes, it's, oh it's open to the Jason. I was going to say, because when I saw it, I'm like, strange that. Try Inside city limits, you can't hunt it within city limits with yeah. firearm. Though. That's why I didn't know if the township was different because it's not within limits. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, we'll move on to number seven, resolution number 109 2324, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the second amendment to operating between city of Sheboygan and Port Pond LLC. I guess this would be Joe then. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, you know, just a really quick update. So this, um, our agreement will re reach its first agreement with them, well, with, with a an amendment, uh, will meet its natural ending by the end of the year. So um, that's why we're here to to do a new, uh, a new agreement. Um, he did ask that instead of doing a longer term one, he, he, he's unaware of what's going to happen in the future with him and his family. Um, there's some conditions where he may end up moving. Things may change, and he doesn't want to go out and work on another five, ten year agreement. But if he's gonna, if he's, he said he'll know more after this year. So he's just basically asking, instead of doing that all right now, asking for a one year amendment. We changed a few things that we've already been kind of doing anyway already, and uh, and those are kind of written out. Those are written out, um, you know, just um, instead of five days a week, he has to be at least open three days a week. Um, um, the sub uh, 3N is repealed. That's we're, we're done with the fencing and for stuff. And number four is just basically kind of cleaning up the the names and stuff like that. Yeah, so not a lot of changes. Just asking to amend for a year, and so we can go on through next year, and where he'll be in a better place, of knowing where he'll be. Okay. Questions for anyone? Okay. Yeah, I, I mean it's it, it's been a, it's been a great thing to have there. I hope we can. 
hopefully that if he does not continue it next year, I hope we can find you know look, look, find someone else to do this. I think it's a lot of citizens like it. Then. <laughs> 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 so I, I hope that we can do anything we can do to help him out. I mean, he's had some challenges over the, that one year was just blooded out. Yeah. And like uh, yeah. So he's had some challenges to, to running it, and anything we can do to help him out I guess, is, is appropriate. So uh, looking for a motion then. I move to approve. I'll second. Motion made and seconded. Any other discussions? Okay. All in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay. Next meeting date is set as December 26th, but we're hoping not to have a meeting that day, is, is what the consensus of the committee is. <laughs> so unless there's something emergency-wise, we're encouraging the <laughs> director to... <laughs> I'll make sure something <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't really foresee anything on the horizon that we would have to have a, a meeting. So okay. I think he's going to go out there and bust the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool.